we have a winner and it's Lila Romonda from Teadora and I watched the whole final and it was long but it was good and it was worth it because in the final you already you always have good songs and there were better songs this year in the final than last year in the final and I had favorites I had the bit of no 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 I had Zeyna, I had Breskvitsa, I had Teodora, I had, um, who else did I have? Ah, even Bedem was very nice, Christina. Um, the voting was crazy. Not the jury votes, but the televoting was crazy. Had to see how um, Breskvitsa took so many thousands of SMS and took the 12 points and became second place. So she, would, she was so close to winning, actually. That it was like if she would have had another 10 or 12 points of the jury, she would be the winner, I think. But we have Theodora as a winner, and she slayed the jury votes, but she also took the second highest, I think it was at the end. I think it was the second highest that she took in the televoting. Yeah, it was the second, the 10 points she took. And well deserved. She is the winner. And I'm gonna react to it to the live performance of Theodora. We had so many good lives. I just want to say a small thing about how the juries pissed me by not giving points to no 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 no. That was the best upbeat song of the night. Like how can you not vote for that song? Serbia, not Serbia. The Serbian people gave it six points. That was okay, but the juries not. A Let's see, Teodora, with that amazing staging, because the staging is amazing. This wet look on her looks amazing. And it's so great that actually Serbia goes with a ballad, because we have so many upbeat songs. So this could stand out from everything that is coming and everything that is going to be there. And Serbia is in the first semi-final, I think. That's the tough semi-final. The, the way they made the staging, it, made it, it makes it look huge. The way that it's presented. Shit. Mm -hmm. And now the my favorite part is the chorus. So it is captivating. The staging makes it captivating so much. When I first heard the audio, I was not so much into that song. I was I liked it, the audio, listening to it, and I liked how the story builds up but seeing it with the staging makes a lot more sense in my other reaction video i said mila romanda but it's lila romanda and it's a flower i know if you put it a bit of a water it immediately comes back to life so that's the message, and I like that. And now the, all of those Lila stuff are coming, which is um, looking great. Lila. And those storms, those purple storms all around her is amazing. And I think in Malmo, this could be like, very captivating. And now the flower coming there behind her. This, this is looking great. And I hope she keeps that in Malmo too. Because I never knew that the flower actually looks like this. But it does. And it's not bad. It's not bad to keep the flower in Malmo. 
and I cannot predict yet where the song is coming in general in Eurovision, if it's winning Eurovision, if it's not winning Eurovision, or what place it could take. This is very early for that. But now it's not type, my type of song at all. It's a ballad, not my kind of ballad, but I cannot not see that it's like very captivating. The staging is amazingly made. Her voice is amazing. So this is very interesting to see like what place could she take? Like where will she get her votes from? Would it be more from juries? Would it be more from televoting? Would it be both? Or will it be none? Like, you never know what happens. This is Eurovision. Um, you can tell me in the comments what you think about Teodora and Lila Ramonda. And do you think it will win? I mean, if you're Serbian and watching, you definitely think it would win. So try to be as accurate as possible and tell me what you think.